twin turbo SCJ. Lima status. Lambo on the flat. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? A little tired today. How are you see outside? Yeah, it's pouring rain all night. Holy. Damn. I have to drive a 1400 wheel horsepower Lamborghini very carefully back to 316. You saw the title on thumbnail? That's right. We gotta go drive a 2000 horsepower twin turbo underground racing SVJ to determine do I need to do that to my SVJ? I don't know. We'll find out together. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How scary is it driving this in the rain, bro? Um, imagine driving on ice with like metal wheels. Okay. I said to RG, is it scary driving this? He said, imagine driving on ice with metal wheels. What? Yeah. Okay. Definitely rains hard here in Florida, Florida, California. Oh, good morning, ladies. I assume they're gender, I apologize for that. In my narrative, the turbos are ladies. Okay. RG's car literally has flicks on it, like there's nothing on it. We're gonna take a chill, get to the Chapa, get to the airport, and get to LA. And we made it safe and sound. A little wet. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little wet. Wait, what? That's our ride to the airport because 316 definitely has a certain style about them. In the meantime, we have to lock these girls up. Good morning! I was in the gym working my shot, now they passed me the bomb. They never answer when I- Please appreciate that RG parks his helicopter overnight in the parking lot and uses his limousine to block it in. What's the limo for? We go get ice cream. That's the ice cream limo? Yeah, we take that to get ice cream. That's about all we ever do in it. Florida man parks helicopter in parking lot, blocks him with limo. Nothing's cool. Watch me stop to just dump this thing. Oh, yes! That's pretty cool. Where are we going? We don't maintain this. We let Johnny work on this thing. Oh, not shit. Not right. All right, we're taking the limo. <laughs> this is crazy. Come on. Ain't nobody coming out. We're coming from 100 yards. Trying to hit my mark. Missing every time. This will be the start. Other picture perfect. Watch it. Yeah, okay. In the stands, and they fans singing every song. And they well, we made it. another successful flight. We made it to this side of the airport. The downside is we have less than 45 minutes to drive from here to the other main terminal. It's gonna be tight. Just tell me if it's somewhere to go. Like, like you, you have somewhere to go, and you don't have time to wait. RG, you nailed it, bro. Another good one. I'm ahead now. This is what we're taking to the airport down the highway. Oh, nice. <laughs> Carry on. I'm all carry on. Yeah. My backpack and that other one. That's carry on. I mean, Dave and I don't do check. Motherfucker, this is like we got camera bag because this is what we do. This guy packed like enough for like two weeks. We pack our own stuff. Or his woman packed his bags. All right, DD fam, we gotta interrupt your video for two seconds to thank today's sponsor, Cove Bluetooth Stereo Speaker. The Commuter 2, and that's where you're hearing all this beautiful composer going back to Cali music coming from. I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali, Cali. We've been with Cove for years. They make an amazing product. They've just made it a whole lot better. They just came out with four limited edition colors. This is considered concrete. They also have stone, sand, and terracotta. That's right, the same color that's in my Carrera GT, you son of a bitch. My favorite features of the Cove Commuter 2 are these little subwoofers on either end that give true bass. So whatever beats you're listening to, you're assured to get the best quality and sound. It works amazingly in any space or environment you're in. It's compact and portable, so you can use it in your garage, your gym, and it even has an IPX7 rating for water resistance, which means it goes perfectly next to the hot tub or the pool, but don't put it in the pool. Five plus hours of playback, and then you can simply charge it up and away you go again. I love my Bluetooth Commuter 2 speaker because it also has the ability to do this. 360 sound when it's combined like this. 360 sound. If you want stereo, you can do optimal left and right by simply breaking it apart. You 
also have the ability to use this up to 10 meters away. So don't worry, you can leave it way over there. All that sounds coming from that speaker. All right, DD fam, go and pick up your Cove Commuter 2 Bluetooth speaker in a limited edition colorway. Whether it be concrete, like I'm vibing to right now, sandstone, or maybe terracotta, like the interior of the Carrera GT, whatever it is, we're gonna give you 68% off. Automatically applied when you click the link in description or go to coveaudio.com forward slash daily driven exotics. That's right, 68% off, you son of a Take advantage of this offer right now. Click the link in description and go pick one up so you can listen to your composer music and perfect audio and bass. Ain't nobody coming to do it. It's mostly me and I knew it. I had to better myself. I put the house on my music. Went into debt for this shit. Sometimes regret what I did. But as a man, I'm a link. It only regret if I quit. Only regret if I stop. And I can never be bought. So I ain't checking for labels less I'm controlling the pot. I mean, I own all my masters and plus my publishing too. Planes, trains, and automobiles. 20 minutes from boarding our plane, and we still have this side of the airport to make it through. Oh, at least we made it, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Got to the gate just in the nick of time. They're starting pre-boarding right now. That was a fast trip to Florida. That was 10 hours of flying for one day. <laughs> yeah, we were here for only 24 hours, really. Yeah. You gonna sleep this whole time or what? Absolutely. I'll keep him awake the whole time. I'll start shrieking in his ears. <laughs> Take care. How was your flight? Oh, it was great. Welcome back to LA. Thank you, sir. Come on, homie. You don't Ready get to, to fly the plane anymore. That's a long flight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five hours. Coast to coast. Yep. Florida coast, right to the Cali coast. Coffee and or Red Bull and or both. Look who we got here. Oh, we got the prospect. What up, brother? Hi, buddy. As soon as I said we're going to look at watches at Happy Jewelers before we go anywhere, you're like, I'll pick you up. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You're the f***ing man, bro. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. We were just done. Okay, oh, I dude. I take care of my people. Okay. Dude. Oh. You're the man, bro. Oh. I how you energized. I like how we get sugar-free Red Bull, but then we eat candy. Well, I remember you like that. I love candy. The Rolly's nice. There might be a gold AP sitting there. I gotta look there, at. There is, and it's it's heavy. Tried it on. I did try it on, and I was like, just feels like it. you're just curling nonstop. <laughs> just a five-pound dumbbell every day. I'm almost thinking I will trade in one of my two-tone sub. One of his Rolexes. Fuck, that sounds so bad. Or maybe two of my Rolexes towards that, and have like an AP and a Rolex. Like, how many watches do you guys really need? I only need two. Be cool, cops. Yeah, cool. <laughs> right. What were you looking at? Uh, the Yachtmaster One with the blue face. Ooh, yeah, I'm nice. a big blue guy, so yeah, solid gold. I don't know about that now. <laughs> Trade in the old uh, Ranger for a walk. Yeah, shoot, it's for sale. Come on might now. As well, might as well walk everywhere, yeah, right? Why not? You'll know what the bus Uber. schedule is. <laughs> I'll be ready. What are we doing here, boys? Bad choices, good choices, good we, choices. Let's see if Gabe will take a trade in on the Ranger. I'm down. For a watch. How okay. messed up is that? Like, it's gonna be a good watch. You could buy a car for the price of a watch. Like crazy watches. Happy <laughs> Jewelers. The only place to come if you need right. jewelry and nice watches. Yeah, okay, give me those tap. You got, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just right to the back of the legs. Right to the back of the legs. <laughs> One little love tap. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, look at this, Dave. You want a match? Cool. Huh? You want a match? What are we doing here? Oh, that's cool. There we go. That's right up my alley. Camel watch Dude, with the tattoos. Sir. Just confirm it's everything. Gonna look good, right? Bro. Just yeah. confirm everybody's assumptions. Exactly. Look, we're twinning. Yes, sir. Is this the AP Rose Gold brick. It really feels like you're holding a brick. It's super, <laughs> super heavy. Beautiful watch. It's you perfect, too. It's a heavy watch. Is it heavy? It's well, it's not as bad because it's on my left side, and I was just wearing that. One of 400 with a camel strap. Yeah. Ceramic bezel, and this is obviously not as rare, but it's a you, stainless bezel. For? Yeah, man. So at Happy Jewelers, you can trade in watches. I'm gonna trade in two watches I have at home that I've been wearing towards this one. It's a beautiful watch, man. And then we're gonna get you that green band too. Yes. We have a uh, another rare Daytona with the black oh, wow. face with the black ceramic too. Thank What's you up, so boys? much. Of good course. to see Thank you. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Okay, good. You got it back. I got it you back. Be careful, Dave. I thought you guys were gonna take it from me. Dave, I got scared. Yeah. Dave, pocket <laughs> stuff. You gotta watch out for him. Gabe, always a pleasure. I would give you a pound. 
one, but uh, yeah, man. Gabe knows that uh, Damien gets hungry. Look at this. You're good to go. You are the man. Okay. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Let's go drive some cars. See you guys. Yeah. Later. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You walk right into the wall. Damn. If you guys need a watch, that is like, can you get that? Peanuts. <laughs> Your peanuts. I grabbed him as peanuts. <laughs> so we're here. Twin turbo. SVJ. I don't think I could be more excited than like my experience with the F40 the other day was so insane. Now I'm on F40. You know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna drive this thing, then I'm gonna want a twin turbo SVJ, but only like this. And this build, I'm not joking, is like hundreds of thousands of dollars. It would be the most insane, most expensive build we would have ever but done. Take the cost of a very expensive car, and that's what is into that car. I have a concern though. I drive a high power twin turbo car, 1600 wheel horsepower, 1400 wheel horsepower. It's 1400. Shut the it's kind of my thing on the channel now. So we do this, I'm gonna have to drive the car because it's kind of like my thing, you know? Dave drives a fast car, Damon does donuts, slow in the parking lot. This is what happens every time he gets a new watch. <laughs> so fing oh, yeah, there it is! Yo! Oh my god! Your timing is impeccable. <laughs> like, I didn't even know you were out. Dude, look at this thing. You just flew back from Florida this morning. Yeah, I saw that. You were driving Dave's car. Dave's car has a true 1400 wheel horsepower. But it's a double clutch. It's a Huracan. It's cute. It's completely. It's what? It's cute. It's cute. You <laughs> just called your car cute. What the f are gross. You'll see. We're tunnel buddies. <laughs> You'll see. You hear him? You'll see, You'll right? See. I thought we were tunnel buddies. Genuinely excited and a little nervous. That is a sexy looking car. All right, montage. I don't want to be rude, but I don't give a damn about you one bit. And I think you used to have it all. Funny how the tables turn around. You check it for me on the internet. I know you Shut the f up. Okay, what the? Dude, that was, that was crazy. Like, I was pumping. No! God. Yeah, your car ain't Dude, Sorry, think your car is insane, but that no, fucked up. My car's humble, bro. It's <laughs> like. What the fuck? Whoa. You know where this is going? You know where this is going, right? I need that. The meanest, baddest. King Lambo on the planet. I've never heard one better. Meanest, baddest and Lambo. By far. Beautiful, all murdered out like that. It's so mean looking. Holy shit ball. That third to fourth when it hit like that? I don't know if you guys can experience that, but you can feel it it's like a shotgun. How was it? It's not bad. It's not bad. Easy. And it bang? Yeah. Scared the shit out of me the first time. First time I drove that my pants. Holy your mom? No wonder why she looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is it you guys. We are officially getting our very first ride in the SVJ. Josh is driving. We gotta go to the airport. So I get a ride to the airport. Okay, I'm genuinely nervous. You should be. Let's take it easy. Josh? Just like I did with my mom? Just like you did with your moms. You have to warn me. Because I don't want to eat the camera to my teeth. Like, for real. <laughs> I like to keep my teeth. Yeah. Although, if we knock them out, I'm getting a f***ing grill. Okay? <laughs> DD grill. The feeling you get when this thing hits is like nothing I've ever felt before. Remotely close. And that's what people pay for. I mean, yeah. you're, you're in this car well over a million bucks. And you can't get this type of feeling with a hypercar. Like, you'll see. You guys know what they're doing for sure. Yeah, I mean, they're the OGs. Yeah, you get what UGRs, the OGs, they're the guys that I was watching build the first twin turbo Lamborghinis I'd ever seen on the internet. And then I was privileged enough that Uncle Ray Ray actually had an 1800 wheel fully built Super Legera way back in the day at SR Auto Group. And I was one of the only people he'd let drive it. That car was insane. It was in a couple of our old, old, old videos. Welcome to SR Auto Group in Richmond, British Columbia. This actually is a 1500 horsepower underground racing Gallardo. Oh. 
<laughs> You're supposed to let this clutch warm up for about 20 minutes before you actually get on it. You're not supposed to punch it until, unless there's more than a half a tank. We're right at that limit. Unfortunately, Chris's brother's kind enough to bring us some fuel, some MS-109. A fuel truck coming, especially for this car. Okay, that's you, right? Yeah. I got my own fuel truck coming. I got my helicopter. Officially, it's gonna be the fast car I've ever been in, for sure. Holy shit. You guys wanna see how fast the world moves? Your peanuts. I grabbed him his peanuts. <laughs> Being a passenger, that is the most frightening drive I've ever actually been in. When you're not in control. Yeah. And it's me. You couldn't feel what I feel, but there's a ton of torque steer. Because it's so much power, you really got to hold on to it tight. So and it's crazy it. how it, it goes through to the front diff. Yeah. But everything's aftermarket on this car. Like, yeah. the front diff, the drivetrain, everything's... Nothing's Upgrade, nothing stock. I honestly don't even know what to say that. I was expecting fast, but when you hit third gear and it, it really started to take off, that's nuts. Wow. <laughs> that's exactly my reaction. I'm kind of speechless. The hard part is, is like you, you guys on YouTube can't feel it. I mean, it's gonna look fast, it's gonna sound cool, but nothing describes the emotions that come up when your ball sack hits your tonsils <laughs> and then drops out your ass and gets left at like two blocks behind. Up, bro. You really need to know what you're doing if you own this car. Yeah, that's why it's me. <laughs> you know. Holy <laughs> Every time. <laughs> like the, I can feel that in my throat. Woo! Wow. I'm not exaggerating, you guys. This car is like dangerously fast. Jesus. Our boy knows how to do it, doesn't he? <laughs> no, no, put me here. We're in another corner, you We're there. I'm so scared right now. No, many people can get me scared. Let's go get the crew. Private sector. Private sector. Your mom must have Jen, just think about it. Just cruising the Ford, for no, like now. honestly, I kind of feel bad for it now. Because <laughs> there's the fast thing. and then there's like this, and I drive fast cars. It's not even the, the horsepower, it's that shift. It's the shift. Yeah. The violent shift, third gear. Is that when she started like like trying to hold on to air and like her body was like her soul left for a minute? Third to fourth is That's so scary. Is my, is my ID on you? It's my ID boy. I don't have my ID my license. I have my license. You do? Yeah. Pilot's license? My what? Pilot's license? No, I'm not a pilot. You know what? <laughs> it's not a pilot. I have my driver's license. Yeah, for that one. Oh, here. The one and only Damon Fryer. She checked my trunk and everything. Just take him to jail so I can drive the car I already. I always get randomly sick. Hey? Just take him to jail so I can drive the car already. Insane. When we all seen it go and flames. When we passed you? Nutty. Everyone around this city is hearing this thing go by. And I wish you guys could feel what it feels like to be in here. No joke. I'm not joking. Did you guys get my balls back there? You picked them up? Yeah, I, I grabbed one. We're, li we're missing one more, but. <laughs> oh, here come the boys. We're, we're right here. We're, we're, we're right here. Man, after, after hanging out with RG, it's cool being around the airport and seeing all these aircraft. I didn't have that big of an interest in them before, but when your friends, a bunch of your friends are pilots, it's actually really interesting. Do a kick flip. Do a kick flip. Let's talk about the jet. We might get a jet. Yes, it's real. Now, this sounds really like arrogant, but yeah. we can get a jet for like 500K. 500K. What kind of like, jet? Citation 550. Uh, Citation 550. Uh, yeah, we'll wrap it. We'll lower it. You don't wrap it. You paint it. Yeah. Uh, this is jet life. It's jet life. Whatever. You can get a whole custom livery. So we could Nardo or black out the jet and then have like DD on the side of it. That's about it. Yeah. And it's only $500 in fuel an hour to run. Like that. Yeah. That's us. Awesome.
to stay ahead of the pace And get a slice of the cake And make a name in a race I see that look in your eye You got your mind in place Between struggle and fly You, you, you can give me that weight Boys just flew in, here's Carl What's up homie? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah the jump Josh you can Look at this thing. Very cool. I learned from RG that helicopters don't get hit with turbulence the way planes do. That landing is definitely not like a citation. Oh, it's like, <laughs> They come in hot. It's nice and slow. Honestly, the plane we mentioned a second ago is literally right there. This is a citation. And Dave and I were thinking about picking one up. Because you can get these for the price of one of our supercars. Yeah, one of the higher end supercars. Get rid of a car, get a jet, 40 Gs, you can do a custom livery. We could actually do like the Lark livery on that. This is time yeah. to take it. Twin Turbo SVJ. It's been one hell of a day for aviation in this channel. Helicopters, airports. You gotta remember, all in one day, coast to coast. Yeah. In Florida, we had twin turbo Lambos and a helicopter. And without knowing, we ended up with a helicopter and a twin turbo Lambo again here. Like, this is one for the history books with our channel. Ready for this, Dave? I don't know. You gotta go course up. Yeah. And you have to drive it with everything off. Dude, there's some you rich people down here. Yep. Like, some of the private jets are like the size of like commercial airliners. Yep. Like 737 private jet. Yeah, that'd be like $40 million. All right, first pull. Especially that single clutch when it shifts and it pops, it smashes your head. And the faster it goes, the faster it goes. Like it pulls harder the faster you're going. Fifth, sixth, and seventh is when you get full boost. So that's not even full boost. <laughs> Torque steer. Holy. Torque steer. Yeah, this car's scary to be in. Scary again. This is a very fast car. <laughs> I want my bully! My boy Chris's brother brought another Huracan and it's got all the fuel for the SVJ sitting in because it needs to run on, what is it, MS 105? 109, that's what it is, 109. Beautiful car. And then look who his passenger is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Two of them. Yeah. Another mad night of twin turbos. Josh is showing off his uh, Ford Ranger headlights. <laughs> well, I'm very proud of you, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, check it out, though. Check, it out. check this out. Hold check on. Check it out. Whoa, Josh. Yeah. Good thing that Dave's got electronics near the fuel. We're all, going, <laughs> we're all going down. We're going down together. Oh, by the way, this is how we're doing this. The only way to get it to get a funnel, we bought one of these, cut the top off, dumped everything out, not into the gas tank, and then we're gonna That's slowly so spill. Oh yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Got a lighter, cost more light. That's what the pros do, it actually. That's legit. Of course it is. Oh, the fumes! Oh, shit, oh the right. fumes, boys! Don't splash. The fumes are not a joke. Here, here, it's hot. Oh well, look, we put a whole can in. This is how we got it into the car. Seems legit. One of one. DD professional. Oh, no, no, oh, not so professional. How much does that cost? One of those cans? One seventy-five. One hundred seventy-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs>
Come down, let's go. <laughs> That's 1500 horsepower. This is, oh, your heart is racing. This is, this is by far the most mental car I've ever been in in my entire life. When it hits full boost in like fourth gear, it's the fastest car, hands down, I've ever been in or driven. It's, it's so fast. That's it, smash the subscribe button. Do me a favor, even if you don't subscribe, go and follow my boy with the SVJ and the Chichinario and Enzo and Bugatti first four. Carrera GT, Pagani, yeah, Pagani, he's got everything. Go and give him a follow. The link's at the very top of the description. That's the way you thank him. Should I get a twin turbo SVJ? For now, we'll get the uh, F1 exhaust from Gintani. This kit is like a whole nother car. I need to talk to the boys at Underground Racing. Dave, another epic episode. Dude, today was a big day. Today we started in Florida, flew like 5,000 miles to make this video. Later, bro. Bye bye. Hey, I'll see you later. <laughs> I meant to say goodbye to them. <laughs> Peace, guys. Well, well, this morning I woke up, up at like 4:45 because all the fire or the uh, lightning, and I'm like, oh my god, the helicopter's in the way of the dumpster, and the dumpster's <laughs> full. Yeah. I was kind of stressed about it, so I almost came here. I was like, how can I move the helicopter <laughs> or move the dumpster out of the way? How can I move the helicopter? <laughs> I think RG's advice would be, you don't move the helicopter. Well, I, then I started learning, you know, how to fly a helicopter on YouTube, and I was like, this is a little complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Just